Welcome to the Smoke Learning Channel. In part 2 of this video series, we'll continue working on our scope shape. In particular, we'll focus on the edges to create a darker smeary look that you get when looking through a scope. Picking up in action, we are going to create a new layer to smear the edges further in the scope shape. Select the Action node in the ConnectFX schematic and press Ctrl N to add a new Media Input node. We will use the background image for the smearing and luminance, so connect it to the red front input of the Media Input node. We will need an active alpha channel, so connect the black frame into the blue alpha input of the Media Input node. Now double click on the Action node and switch to the Media menu. With Entry 3 selected in the Media list, you can see the thumbnails on the left show the fill of the image and the black alpha. We need to take the binocular shape from the second Media entry and create the Edge Alpha for the new layer. Select the MK symbol in the Media list for Entry 2. Click the Copy button. Select the Empty Kia column in Media Entry 3. Press the Paste button. The modular Kia settings have been copied between media entries. Just a side note, you could do all of the shapes and Kias outside of action in ConnectFX. However, this is easier and more convenient working in the context of action. Now let's create that edge mat. Double click on the MK symbol in the third media entry to enter into the modular Kia. Press the Home icon and select the GMask node to bring up the result viewer. Now we need to invert this mask and there are lots of ways to do it. We could go into the GMask node and start to turn off settings etc. But the quickest way is just to locate the negative node in the node bin and drag it into the connection and that is it. To create the edge mat, hover over the node bin and press M for the mat edge node. Drag it out and place it after the negative node. Double click the node to see its controls. Enable the Edges button and we get the starting point for an edge mat. Switch the Edges mode from Basic to Advanced. Now all I want to do is affect the inner edge of the alpha. So disable Proportional and set the outer edge to 0 and the inner edge to 5. To thicken the edge a bit more, set the inner and outer softness to 0.3. That's still not soft enough. Enable the Blur button. Set the Blur to 15. That's much better. However, the Blur is diffusing the white colour, so now it's too dark. That is not a problem. Drag the middle of the matte luminance curve up to the top and it will boost the matte luminance. So this is a good looking edge that we can use. Exiting the modular keyer and looking at the action result, you can see that there is quite a pleasant smearing on the edges of the scope. You can tweak this more if you want, but this simulates bleeding of light and colour. To further tweak the edges, we will colour correct them. In the third media entry, select the empty box for colour correction. Make sure you select the colour correction for the front and not the matte part of the third entry. Double click on this box to enter into the colour corrector. Now we are not going to be able to make much out of this with just seeing the layer on its own to colour correct. So press F6 to bring up the Action Context view. Now we will see how the grade will impact the whole composite. Now this is a place where you can experiment loads with settings. Drag the RGB gain sliders and tweak the edge colour to your liking. You can take as long as you like, but when you're done, Exit the Colour Corrector back to Action. We're almost there. As a final touch, hold Option and drag the Blur node for the Front Media Entry 3. This will blur the image a bit to spread the colour diffusion. So now we have our scope shape with the edge colours diffusing well. In the next video, we will start modernising our binocular scope by creating graphic elements such as crosshair cursors using the masking tools. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Smoke Learning channel for future videos.